Hello ladies and gentlemen, and this is Meet Andrew. Today I'm going to go over the broad overview of the Red Cross Learning Center .org portal. So this is the home icon. Uh, once you hit, click the login button, it has your name, several credentials, your profile. On the right hand side, it has course record entry, which I'll get into a little bit later, request blended learning uh, class, then list class on Red Cross, um, the RCO. It has your certifications. It has create a support case. Sometimes underneath that, it has a chat icon. And then it has uh, the certifications that you need to retake, which will pre-populate 90 days before the expiration date. So I'm going to hit the home icon. Uh, if you are taking current classes, or if you're teaching current classes, it will actually populate here if you're doing a blended learning class. If you've done the class before, and you've entered it, it into the course record entry, then you can hit class history. You can press any of these buttons. I'm going to just do it. So it has the details of the certification, it has the list of the students, the materials, and then so the class was reported on January 17, 2020. So if you want to get the master copy of the certifications, for instance, if there wasn't any emails that were sent out. You go to print certifications. You'll hit this icon and then you'll get an actual master copy of everyone that was in the class and then you can send that out to the students. So that's a very good way if the students does not have individual emails associated with their account. So under classes, you have course materials. Most of the people, I believe, is going to look up the first aid CPR AED. It has the participants material. It has the first aid CPR AED participants uh, manual. It has the adult ready reference, the pediatric, pediatric, wow, sorry, pediatric ready reference. The instructor's material. The authorized provider agreements, and then the licensed training provider agreements. It has up-to-date information about the COVID, the instructor bulletin, it has the instructor's uh, booklet, and all this is available to you to download. It has the, oh, well, most people won't have the instructor's course exam um, because I'm an instructor trainer, which I'll make a different video about how to actually become one. And then it has the first aid CPR AED course presentation has the individual videos that you can uh, download. There's a wide variety. The teaching resources. These are the activity sheets, program fact sheets, um, assignment scenarios. It has all the scenarios on here. The skill sheets and what you, you'll need to look for. The critical eye. The written exams. So with the written exams, I just combine all the exams under exam A and then exam B versus printing these out consist, um, all the time. And then the optional modules, the asthma inhaler, the tourniquet, and the EpiPen. And so the same setup is for all the certifications, basic life support, emergency medical responder, lifeguarding, etc., etc. Feedback, if you were to receive feedback from students when you're taking class, it would populate there. Under resources, the administrative information, it has a wide variety of things for you to do or use. Training provider, course, and price list. 
this is where you find out all the pricing for the certification. So for instance, if you're teaching first aid, CPR, AED, the price for 2020 is about $31. And this list, well, as you see, is 37 pages long. It has a wide variety. It has all the pricing that you pay for the American Red Cross certifications. Every time you log in a person's name and there to get the certification. Here you have to nominate someone for an American Red Cross Lifesaving Award, which I highly recommend. There's two awards that the American Red Cross gives. One, when you're not getting paid to do so, and then one, if it's part of your job. It has the instructor hierarchy chart, the mannequin precautions and requirements, decontamination use, and a bunch of other useful information, participants evaluation forms, let me see if there's anything, oh, about the science. So this page I usually print out and then I have readily available to give to students because, I mean, the Scientific Advisory Council is pretty extensive and the information is pretty vast. And then a bunch of other information that you can utilize. The ECC guidelines, highly recommend that. It usually, usually changes every five years. Then you have the instructor life cycle with the recertification instructor trainer candidates. And I'll make a different video on how to actually become an instructor trainer so you can teach other instructor course courses. And that you can scroll through my web page and see a video about that. The form is actually looked over by the American Red Cross. You can ask any questions. Or you can research questions that someone else might have already have an answer for. This is monitored by an American Red Cross employee, and they are usually the ones that answer the questions. Then you have the certifications. This lists out all the certifications that you have. This lists out just basically the instructor certifications only, and not the basic certifications. In the news, you have the iConnect or the iConnections, now that it's called. And it has a wide variety of information in this segment as well. I definitely, definitely recommend that you read the iConnection. It comes out every six months. Oops, sorry, it comes out every six weeks. And the information is very extensive and it's good for instructors to know. It has a bunch of the COVID policies also listed on here. And then, of course, if you have any questions, it shows you a wide variety of ways that you can contact the American Red Cross. Either through create a support case or you can contact the 1-800 Red Cross number. If you found value in this video, please definitely hit that subscribe button and the like icon. And if you have any questions, as usual, you can comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching my video.